It's time for another Medicare supplement rate update. Seems like a lot of you like these updates, so I'm going to try to do them more frequently. As I reported back in April, Medicare supplement premiums have been increasing at higher rates recently. And this has been due to Medicare claim trends being elevated since 2023 and pushing up loss ratios for the Medicare supplement companies. So today we're gonna to look at rate increases for enforced blocks of business, which is most important for those who already have a Medicare supplement. We will look at new business rate increases, which matters for those applying for a new policy, either due to turning 65 or simply applying for a new policy to lower your rate. Plus I'll show you the average plan G and plan N rate increases by company since 2020. And lastly, I'll show you which states have had the highest new business rate increases and which ones the least. I will go over rates from AARP, United Healthcare, Aetna, Allstate, Cigna, Humana, Medico, and Mutual Omaha. I will also let you know which company had the highest rate increase and which company actually lowered their rates in one state by almost 30%. I am Chris Prying, the Medicare analyst, licensed agent in 14 states, and I am based out of Charlottesville, Virginia. Maximize your Medicare should be very important to you. My goal is to help people like you make a wise and confident decision about all of your Medicare choices so that you can protect your income, your assets, your savings, and your health. If today is your birthday, then a very happy birthday to you. Stephen Wright said, I intend to live forever. So far, so good. So rate increases by company. Here we go. AARP United Healthcare is up 13.6% in New Jersey and Vermont. Aetna is up 12.3% in Alaska and DC. Allstate is up 12.9% and that does vary by state and plan. Allstate is new to Medicare supplements in the past couple years. They came in with some very low rates. It will be interesting to see what their future rates become both for new business and in force business. Cigna is up 6.5% in Missouri, Ohio, and South Carolina. Humana Insurance is up 4.8% and that varies by state and plan. And then the Humana Achieve plan is up 5.2% in West Virginia. Medico, also known as Wellaby, is up 5.5% in Nebraska and Utah. And then the Mutual of Omaha companies. Omaha Supplemental Insurance Company is up 14% in Nebraska. And United World Life is up 9.6% in Washington State. The company with the highest rate increase was GPM Health and Life with a 19% increase in Michigan. And the company with the lowest increase was Primera Blue Cross Blue Shield of Alaska with, get this, a reduction of 28.3%. That's a premium notice I would like to receive. And the average rate increase across all companies, including those not listed here, was 7.58%. The historical rate increases. The chart provided by CSG Actuarial shows the average historical rate increase of the most prominent carriers selling Medicare supplements. These increases are only on open blocks of business. For the Plan G rate increases, what do you see? The first thing I see is that Cigna is the only company whose rate increases have trended down. The next thing I see is that Humana tends to be the most stable. Since Humana redid their supplements a few years ago, their rates have been more competitive and steady. Then I see that Mutual Omaha and AARP United Healthcare having the most significant rate increases on the Plan G. For the Plan N rate increases, what do you see? I see that Cigna has been very steady with their rate increases as well as Humana, and Humana's increase was actually less in 2024 than 2023. And once again, I see Mutual of Omaha and AARP, United Healthcare, having the most significant rate increases on the Plan N. And by the way, those are the two largest Medicare supplement companies out there. According to CSG Actuarial, they expect the trend of higher rate actions to continue throughout 2024 as claims come in higher than previous years and push up the loss ratios. How about historical new business rate increases? If you look at this chart, you will see from 2011 to 2015, new business rate increases actually trended down. Then from 2016 to 2022, they were somewhat steady. Then in 2023, they jumped up and even more so in 2024. And then for this year, the new business rate increases trended higher from July to October, then they drop in November and December. And in case you care, the average new business rate increase since 2011 is 4.89% per year. How about rates by state? As you can see from the graph, three states really stand out for significant rate increases. Iowa pushing 12%. New York at about 10.5% and Washington State at 12%. Both New York and Washington State do offer guaranteed issue rights for Medicare supplements, meaning that you don't have to worry about underwriting, and that is one reason why those states have had higher rate increases. 
The states with the least increases were Delaware at around 4.8%, Minnesota at around 4.2%, and Rhode Island at 5%. I'm curious if you have a Medicare sum, but what has happened to your premium in the past year and which plan do you have and with which company? Please comment as it does help others. If you have any questions about what I've just gone over and when you're ready for my help in maximizing your health care and retirement insurance coverage and making a wise choice about all of your Medicare insurance options and you live in one of the states that I'm licensed in, which you can see here, then please feel free to reach out to me either by phone or through one of my contact forms on my website. We will have an open and honest conversation about your healthcare needs and philosophies and budget, and I'll do my best to answer any questions or concerns that you may have. And once we determine what is best for your unique needs and budget, I will then enroll you in the plan or the plans of your choice. And of course, be available down the road for your support. To stay up to date and to gain more insight on maximizing your Medicare insurance, then please go ahead and subscribe. And who do you know who may benefit from this info? Please share it with them. I'm Chris Sprang, the Medicare analyst. Make it a great day.